I want to work these games. Just unbelievable. Wow. The inspiration. I was choked up in the wow. tears the first I four or five imagine. days. So Hunter would all look forward to seeing him there. As we look at the lane assignments for the men's 400 meters. This is a final, and we mentioned Hunter Woodall, and in lane five, Sonia, we've got Michael Cherry. And he is looking amazing this season, has been a part of many USA teams, especially on 4x4s, has had success there, but really putting it together in the Open 400. He has a third fastest time in the world at 44.37, which is very fast for this early in the season. So looking forward to seeing what he will do. I believe he will make the team and have an opportunity to go for a medal in Tokyo this year. He's thinking about it. And uh, next to him, to his left, will be Justin Robinson in lane four. And this is a youngster, a phenomenal talent. When he was a freshman. Only 19 years old, set the world under 18 best, 44-84 in 2019. He's run 43-7 already, Lewis, on a split. We got to keep our eyes on this young man. There's lots of talent in the men's 400, but in order to keep that depth and that pool that Team USA always has, you need youngsters like Justin Robinson coming up running so well. So this is great for him, great competition, and he wants to make the team. He wants to be in Tokyo. And he'll have his opportunity. Uh, and these races tonight are so important, so valuable to the accent, to training, to get actually get out here and race in competition that matters uh, just a few days away from the actual uh, track and field trials. And we're looking out there in lane nine. That's Chidi Oziki of Nigeria getting his thoughts together. The world and U.S. lead so far this year is held by Michael Norman. He ran 44-27. That was in Doha this past weekend. Yeah, and this is Dion Lindor of Trinidad and Tobago. He's run 45.05 already this year, has lots of experience. He was in London in 2017, Beijing in 2015, has had success on the relays. Team Trinidad always runs really well on the 4x4 and gives Team USA a challenge. He's a three-time national champion at this event. All right, fair start in the men's 400 meters. This is a final. Woodall, Mendoza, Strother, Robinson, Cherry, Taylor, Lindor, who you just mentioned from Trinidad and Tobago in seven, London, and Oziki outside in lane nine. Michael Cherry took off well and has been relaxing down the back stretch. It's a great way to run the 400. He'll need to pick it up here if he wants to run a fast time. This is where Coach Howard always say, you got to position yourself to win the race. So how is he doing on this third 100 of the race? Now he is digging deep, and he should be able to separate from this field. Michael Cherry trying to hold his lead. Good arm pump, and the legs doing the same thing. Michael Cherry holding on and will win the 400 meters. And his official time, 44-74. And guess who is keeping pace right inside of him? The youngster. That was Justin Robinson right on his heels in second place, looking really good. And he ran 45 flat. So, again, fast running here. That will not take over the world lead by Michael Norman, but still a, an, an impressive time. Michael Cherry running 44-74. And I... And I got to tell you, in the 400, the toughest part of the race is when you have to navigate headwinds. And we've seen the winds range up to three point, three plus on the sprints. And so especially when you have to navigate the headwind on the back stretch, that could be really challenging because yeah. it will slow you down even more than you want to pace yourself. And I think that's what really played into their times today. And Michael Cherry having to really adjust for the headwind on the back stretch, but still having enough strength to finish strong. And you want to win from the front or the back when you're running the 400. All right, and so Michael Cherry is down with Kerry. All right, Michael, the wind is a factor today. How did you get through it? It was cool. I feel like I'm a little bigger than some of the other guys, so I handled it well. I wanted to get out easy and just finish. You look great, though. When you have the, the last three, four weeks here to, to get ready for the trials, what do you fix? What do you work on? Uh, I want to go out there and work on some strength and start to taper down and start doing more speed so I can get faster. Well, if you look like you did tonight, it's going to be a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. I also have Hunter down here, Lewis. All right, Sonia. go ahead. Go ahead. Hunter, you look great today. Real close to your PR. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was all right. Yeah. I'm just excited to be out here, be able to represent, like, the Paris side of things and run with, like, literally the best athletes in the world. <laughs> yeah, two-time Paralympic champion. Talk us through that. What does it feel like to say that when you hear your name and you hear that stat, it's pretty awesome. Absolutely. Like I said, it's an honor to be out here with these guys. Like, the Paris side is 
kind of a movement. We're trying to like get some exposure and really, you know, just kind of share the sport. And it's just such an amazing thing that I'm able to be included here and run with the best. So. And your amazing girlfriend has an opportunity to make this Olympic team for the U.S. Set an NCAA champion or record, excuse me. You two are pretty awesome on YouTube. I, I say she's the better one there, but hey, Tara. And yeah, we're hoping to bring a few golds home from Tokyo. And there she is right there. Wave to the camera, everybody. Congratulations. Good luck to you both. Thank you. All right, Gary, that's a great story. Hunter did the right thing, man. Don't forget to mention your girlfriend. <laughs> and what a great guy. You can just feel it oh, seeping yeah. through his energy. Just so appreciative of the opportunity, and we're even more appreciative to see him out here because, like we said, so inspiring to young people to never give up, to chase your dreams, no matter the circumstances. That's right. Just a phenomenal person, and we were excited to see him compete tonight. Did you see his finishing time? It was 48 something. 48.37. Okay, 48.37 for Hunter Woodall. For those of you who are watching, uh, that's a great performance by him.